so yeah I'm literally saying to myself am I doing another one of these uh, but I just had the most ridiculous experience and walk and it breaks my heart uh, because in England our lockdown is crap and it's not a proper lockdown and the people who are on lockdown in this country are the ones who can't leave their homes they can't go out for a walk um, can't go anywhere because they're too at risk and they really can't go out because the people who are going out are, are making it really unsafe. Uh, and I'm so shocked. Uh, I'm, 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 I'm disbelief of what I experienced this morning. Um, and I have just really yelled at somebody. Um, and I thought, you know, I'm like, I really thought about whether or not to yell at her. And, I, and then I went, yeah, no, I'm going to. Um, and then afterwards, as I walked down the road... I was speaking to an older lady, you know, on the other side of the road. <laughs> Is that, you know, morning? I said, oh, yeah, I just rolled at this woman. She went, oh, did you did you yell at the, that woman who keeps doing that thing? So this woman is not just... I'll tell you what she was doing. And I'm there, I'm going, how would somebody be so stupid to do this in this present moment? And, um, yes, I will use the word stupid. I will use the word uh, unaware and, and asleep, not awake at all to the situation. I mean, absolutely disbelief. And this older woman says to me, oh, yeah, she's there like every day. I keep having to try and get past her. And what it was is I came down this path and I was about to come home. And there's a path. It's not it's about, you know, I guess the whole path is about probably less than two metres. This is in a sort of a parkish sort of area. So there's a whole load of green space. This woman has all her stuff on the park bench. She was doing jumping jacks in the path. She was using jumping jacks, she's doing her warm-up, she's doing her you know, running warm-up and all this kind of thing. Big old jumping jacks. And in front of me there was this old chap on his bike and he had to basically go all the way around trying to squeeze. It still wasn't two metres. She's standing there sweating, jumping jacks, doing all this exercise. And um, I'm very proud that I didn't swear too badly at her. I swore a, I swore a bit. I swore a bit. <laughs> Because I said to her, what are you doing? Why are you doing this in path? Why don't you do this on the green space? I'm nearly finished. I'm nearly finished. Leave me alone. Leave me alone. I'm like, are you kidding me? You're blocking the path. People cannot go. She's like, well, just go away. I said, I can't go because you're blocking the path with your jumping jacks and your sweatiness and all this. I won't repeat the exact language. Um, and I did yell at her. I did yell at her that, that people are dying. That we, in England, our death toll has, is more than Italy. And it doesn't even include, um, we're seeing that a lot of people are not being included, people in care homes are not being included, people who are dying at home are not being included because they're not being tested. So our death toll is probably higher than it has been reported and yet it is still higher than in other European countries where exercise has been banned, where cycling has been banned, where walking, running has been banned, where people are not allowed to leave their homes unless they have an ad adequate reason to do so. Um, and people in England are still behaving in a way that embarrasses me to be associated with them. I think we live in an amazing country and we, the UK, British people, you know, England, Northern Ireland, Ireland we are amazing people. And this is letting us down in an appalling way. <laughs> As I <laughs> finished yelling at this woman and she finally picked up her purse and her keys and ran off on her, on her jog. She wasn't running away from me. Um, I wish she had. Uh, because obviously I'm not that scary. I'm not as scary as I, as I think I am. Uh, she she turned around and she said, she yelled at me, she said, you're a very common lady. <laughs> I said, great, you're an idiot. You know, um, and I don't care really in this present moment. I'm like, you know, there's an ego thing about being a bit spiritual that you don't get cross, you don't get angry, you don't do this. And I'm like, in this moment, I literally stood there and yelled at this woman for like, a minute and she still stood there doing jumping jacks she was still doing jumping jacks and when I passed this elderly lady um down the road she's like yeah she's there all the time and I'm like well like you know what I really hope she's not there tomorrow you know and that the older people who are trying to use that path I mean seriously the older people who are going out to the pharmacy to the shops to this kind of thing can walk down a path in a park safely because I yelled at someone and I will I will um, 
and I just, I can't believe it. And I think, you know, we will, in this country, we will have to ban outside exercise uh, because there are so many people who just can't um, adapt to doing this kind of thing safely. And, um, you know, I went, I went out very early down to the shore because I just really needed to get out. And I'm, and I'm sorry for saying that because I know there's a lot of people who can't get out and I apologise. I know it's painful to you. Um, and when I go out, it's usually the safest time of day. It's very early and that's usually when a lot of older people are out um, trying to get their little bit of walk in or go to the shop or go to the, you know, whatever they got, you know, get their bit of shopping in. And um, uh, it's, you know, it's runners mainly um, who are not keeping their distance and time and time again you know you, you know you see people and there's, there's an older person on this one side of the street there's an older person on this side of you know path keeping their distance you know which is about two meters and a runner goes down the middle because that's they think it's a space it's not a space that's a social distance that's the distance you need between people and um, I know I've been overtaken by runners who run very close to me um, and I uh, know I've yelled at them that's not two meters <laughs> And I see cyclists constantly going on the, the, the path where they're not supposed to go. Um, and I see cyclists not wearing a helmet, you know. And I am a cyclist. I cycle for six years in London. I, I wore my helmet um, almost every time when I didn't forget it. Saved my life twice. If you're going out, you know, cycling, wear a helmet. Uh, cycle on the road. Um, if you have and, and also cycle further out so that you're not too close to pedestrians it's not rocket science there are studies showing at the moment that runners and cyclists need a lot more space because you're sweating because you're breathing hard that two meters is not enough and um, it's not enough and yet I see constantly cyclists and runners are the ones that are not giving enough distance and they're running along and I have to keep backing off. I had to keep, I basically had to climb a tree to get away from cyclists today. There was two cyclists decided to cycle around Emsworth in tandem, you know, two ladies having a chat with their radios on. Oh, really enjoying it. If, you, if it's you, think about what you're doing, for goodness sake. And they're cycling along and the old ladies on the path are sort of cowering in the corner. So there's two metres, you know, not even two metres, but these two cyclists trying to keep two metres between them. And there's a little old lady sort of cowering at the side of the road. And they're going, thank you. Thank you for letting us by. It's like, no, she's not letting you by. She's cowering away from you because she's trying to keep the distance. And she can't keep the distance because you're not, you've got no, uh, I mean, what do, you, what do you call it? What do you say? I haven't even brushed my hair this morning. I went out really early to get, to try and get some calming walking in. And, um. And I and I think, you know, I think to myself, why am I having all these experiences? Does this mean I've got to do another video about it and I've got to, you know? Um, and then that woman on the path and I'm like, well, I've got to speak up. I've got to say what's going on out here because I'm a witness to this. I'm a witness to this. And, uh, you know, of all the people I went into, when I go into town, I, I'm going along, it's early morning, it's all runners. It's all runners running around the town centre, running here, there, while the older people are trying to get to the supermarket and get their shopping. And you are getting in the older people's way. You are obstructing them. You are coming too close to them. You are sweating in their direction, you know? This... Please go and read the science about this. Please think about this. If you want to go for a run, great, go for a run. Go away from other people if you want to go for a run. If you want to go for a cycle, go away from other people. Do not cycle in tandem. Do not take your bike along the the path, the human path, the human path. This is not for bikers, bicycles. This is not for you. And the problem that we're seeing is there are so many people who are using this opportunity in England to become runners or become cyclists. And you don't know what you're doing, you know. And I, I have I, the other day I went out and I saw a friend of mine who is a prof professional runner. He he runs, you know, in in he competes and everything like that. He's running down the middle of the road when it's quite early in the morning. He's running down the middle of the road, so he's not obstructing the path. He's not in anybody's way, okay. 
and you say, whoa, what about the cars? He's listening for the cars. You know, he's going to avoid it. He's, he's, his job is to avoid other people whilst running safely. That's your job. Your job is not to check your heart rate or get your really good jumping jack in. Your job is to pay attention to other people and not to kill other people by spreading germs and spreading disease at the moment. I can't believe I'm saying this. I'm still finding it really difficult. And the people who know me know that for me to say I'm not going out for a walk every day, you know, I, I am going out every three, four day, you know, I'm trying to hold it in. I'm trying not to go walking. I'm trying to leave space for other people, you know. I'm doing my absolute best in this moment because when I look back, I'll be able to say I did my absolute best in this moment and I won't feel guilty, you know. But if you are behaving this way, you are really piling up regret because when you look back and you see what is happening and what has happened you're going to have such a hard time dealing with the way you behaved. You really are. So please, 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 for yourself, be aware and, and think about it. And the last thing I would say is last night, we could actually hear the pots and pans and the clapping and everything for the NHS here. And it couldn't hear it before because it was quite a quiet area. If, you know, that's great, but do something for the NHS. Do something for the NHS, which is don't behave stupidly. Keep your social distance. Um, do not run or cycle or exercise unsafely or with such selfishness, such complete selfishness that you are taking up space and that you're coming too close to older people and you you think you're doing something, you know, when, when somebody backs away from you, they're not like, here you go, it's so nice, I'm being helpful. and that It's not, they're scared of you. Don't you get it? They're scared of you. And that's why people are backing away from you. Wake up. Wake up before, and I, and I hate to say it, I really do, and I'd like to say before you kill someone, but the chances are, if you have been behaving this way during this fake lockdown that we have, you know, this, this pathetic, um, well, you know, keep your distance if you want to, you know, don't go out to exercise too much. But, you know, if you want to sit in the park and drink all day and we'll have to send the police to, to sort you out, you know, um, we have not got it. We have not, we have not achieved um, a sense of a community lockdown, you know. And we are sitting there waiting for the, the police and waiting for the government to tell us what to do. You know what to do. You know, you're not an idiot. You know, don't. Stop behaving so poorly. Stop behaving, you know, that this is all a joke. And I just, I, I'm really, I'm really in shock. This woman said to me as she ran away, you're a very, very common lady. I said, I ain't, no, I want to say, I ain't no lady. <laughs> Call me common, I don't care. I am doing my best to save lives, to save the NHS, to save my own life, to save the lives of people around me. And I'll hold that up against any kind of English class thing you want to say, you want to call me names, I really don't care. How relevant is that to me right now? Some kind of class assessment right now? Not relevant at all. I really don't care. What I care about is I would just really like to be able to go for a walk and to see little old ladies and little old men be able to go for a walk safely, be able to go to the chemist safely. They're not going for a walk, actually. Most of them are going to the supermarket. They're going to the chemist. And really selfish and unaware and unprofessional runners. If you're a professional runner, if you compete, you're probably going to be running down the middle of the road. You're going to be running somewhere away from other people. Um, you can do jumping jacks in your house. You do not need to obstruct a pathway to do that. And I don't think there's anybody. <laughs> Please, somebody tell me, like, what am I not seeing here <laughs> that somebody's doing this? And my friends in Italy and, and, and France will be looking at this and going, are you not, you guys are insane. Um, and yeah, I think that would be true. So try not to be insane.
Love you. Hope it helps.